Welcome back. So this video is going to be a little bit different in the manner of what we're testing out. We have two similar weight bullets. 7mm PRC per the box says it should be coming out of a barrel around 3,000 feet per second. We're going to take this to the range, chronograph it, and we're going to see. 30-06 says it should be coming out of the barrel right at 2750. Again, we'll take this out, we'll chronograph it, get a three shot group and see how it does. Then we're gonna shoot clay at 50 yards and measure it, see what uh, kind of damage it does. And we're gonna take it out to 500 yards. And for 500 yards, I thought what would be interesting is to get a huge block of clay, something that's not gonna explode apart. You know what, we're gonna give it a shot. We're gonna go out to 500 yards and see what we can get and you know, see if we can actually see a difference of energy. So let's go ahead and go out to the range. Let's get those uh, chronograph readings and then we're gonna go ahead and see if we can measure energy differences. All right, so we're out at the range, getting ready to test the seven millimeter PRC versus the 30-06, both in Precision Hunter. And we'll be shooting them out of this uh, Remington 700. This is a older style Remington 700. Still has the polymer stock. And of course the Ruger American 7 millimeter PRC. We're gonna get some velocities. We're gonna shoot the clay at 50 yards. And then we're gonna go ahead and shoot the clay at 500 yards. We're gonna see if we can go ahead and show the kinetic energy and terminal ballistics that we're getting at 500 and compare the two cartridges out to distance. So let's go ahead, get some velocities, and we'll go from there. Okay, so we're set up. We got the chronograph right in front of us. We're gonna try to get some readings from a camera behind us. We're gonna do three shots real quick, uh, just to make sure we're on paper. And uh, I'll just yell out the, the speeds as I see them. So here we go. Okay, 2846, 2780, and last shot, 28. 24. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and hit the clay. We decided to do a shot from 25 yards instead to get a little bit more of the energy on target here. So let's go ahead, hit this, and see what we get. Clear. Okay, so we basically went all the way through that and 
get my shadow out of the way here. It stopped right here by the aluminum plate. So you can see it was probably that little piece right there that stopped it. So, needless to say, we are gonna go on to the seven millimeter. Okay, now we got the seven millimeter PRC. Our little uh, metal contraption there took a, took a little abuse. And we'll see if this bit more of energy can uh, break through it, but we'll see. Okay. Three, two. Oh, baby! Clear! Okay, so walking up to the destruction, it didn't go through the aluminum plate, but look at that. You can see basically what was left of the seven millimeter PRC right in there. And this completely cavitated on itself. So, not much good on this other than my weld seemed to held up so we'll have to make a stronger box and come back with something to read on that but let's take this out to 500 yards okay so we're gonna go ahead and try the 500 yard we're gonna start out with the 30 out six and see if we can't get our deer or elk once again we have 150 pounds of clay with some leather in front of it. So here we go. <laughs> okay, so looks like we hit high left. leather piece that was here you can see we are about an inch up and an inch to the left we might try to hit this one more time a little more center but that thing went um yeah let's say it hit it pretty good all right we have the seven millimeter prc we still have to hit and we might hit this one one more time okay we're gonna go ahead and try to hit this a little bit more centered on that i haven't been shooting this that long so hitting that box was a little harder than i thought so let's go ahead and here we go that looks a little better Okay, moving on to the seven millimeter PRC. We've been having a little sighting issue with this one, but we are gonna see what I can get. So here we go. Nailed it. Wow, first shot, a little low, but that is about as good as we're gonna get. Okay, so this is the 30-06. According to the clay, we got, first shot was this one right up here. Second shot is that one right there. So, from what this shows, it went in right there. And that is what we did. I'm not sure we can measure that, but it looks like it went through. 12 inches of clay and possibly came out the back. 
I don't see anything here. I see some clay. Amazing. Amazing, amazing. So there's 30 out six. Now let's go over to the seven millimeter, which we also hit low and busted up the leather. As you can see here where we hit that. Oops. We hit that low right there. And whoa. Another very big dump of energy in there. And this one also definitely went out the back. If you can see there. And don't see, it probably kept on going. Don't see any bits of, so needless to say, 500 yards, you hit an elk deer in the right spot, you are taking that sucker down. All right, on to the charts. So I'm gonna show the velocity and energy charts so you have the exact numbers. But I wanna know, what are your thoughts? Which one would you go with? The new seven millimeter PRC or the tried and true 30-06? Is there even enough difference out to 500 yards? But in conclusion, I feel the clay did an okay job at 500 yards at showing the amount of energy these two calibers can put down. However, at 25 yards, we'll need to modify the metal cage and add depth to the clay to get better readings. So in the comments, let me know your ideas on how to capture energy differences in the distance. So in the comments, let me know, what are your ideas? How do you think we could capture the energy differences out to distance of 500, even out to a thousand yards? So, but we'll keep on trying and you know what? Like and subscribe. We'll show another different uh, variation of this coming soon.